Vladimir's plan was infidious. He arranged for the 39 men to hide in the barrels. The remaining barrel he filled with salt in case someone inspected the container. Using this modern day Trojan horse, his men would infiltrate and destroy Alibaba's entire house. All the best, boys! Finally, the truck reached its destination. Hello, Vijay. Just leave the truck containers at the back of the house. Your salt will be safe there. I hope you are not worried about it anymore. Not at all, Ali, my friend. Ali, thanks to you. Come on in. Dinner is almost ready. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Suraya and Marjina were preparing the food. What difference did all that money make? I am still cooking all by myself like a slave every day. But I am here to help you. Those fat ladies of the big mansion, have you seen them ever pour a glass of water for themselves? You are right. God willing, one day you will live in one of those mansions. Should I prepare the salad now? Yes, but just pass me some salt first. Oh, there isn't any left. Should I run and get some from the shop? <laughs> you mad child. Why spend money? We have some barrels of salt in the courtyard. Be a good girl and grab some from one of those. Okay. As she reached the truck, Marjina was surprised to hear muted voices coming from inside. Is it time to attack yet? I can't wait to teach that man and lesson, a lesson for stealing from us. Quiet, both of you. Boss told us not to talk. Marjina's clever mind put two and two together. She realized she needed to act immediately. The men hiding in the barrels must be here to hurt Ali Baba. I have to act and act f fast. Luck was with Marjina. Vladimir had left his keys in the truck. First of all, let me get out these thugs out of here. What should I do with them? I can't afford to take risks. Where this truck going? Boss always has a plan B. This must be it. Anyway, we shouldn't talk until he gave the order. Marjina drove the truck full of gang members to where they belonged. The truck has stopped. I wonder where we are. The police station. Once inside, Marjina hurriedly explained the situation. You need to help right away. I have a truck of full armed men in barrels parked outside. The boss will get her for this. That medicine girl. Inspector, our work isn't done yet. The leader is still in the house. Let go and come on. Then come on. A few minutes later, while Vladimir and Alibaba were engrossed in conversation, Look like you have got trouble, Alibaba. I have no idea what's going on. I will be back in a minute. What police? Where is he? Where is the leader of the gang? Leader? Gang? What are you talking about? 
By the time they got to the living room, it was empty. Vladimir predictably had escaped again. Marjina explained the whole story to the family. Those parrots in the truck were not full of salt. They were armed men inside them. After I dropped them off at the police station, the inspector gathered his team together and rushed here. Oh dear, what will we do now? The hoodlum that got away is bound to come back. We are doomed. Thank you so much, Marjina. You have come to our aid once again. We are really grateful to you. Suddenly, a silt hoot caught Marjina's eyes. At the window, I can see him. Look. Oh God, save us. By the time everybody turned to look, the silt hoot was gone. Those hateful eyes left a lasting imprint on Marjina's mind. She would never forget those eyes. Time passed and Alibaba became business expanded. He soon got himself a swanky office overlooking the Ma- Mumbai Sky House. Omar had go- grown into a fine young man. Mean Marjina, meanwhile, had gained fame as a dancer skilled in a variety of forms. I have got the details for all the accounts in the file. Do you do you have any more work for me? No. Why doesn't you call it a day? It isn't Marjina's performing at the Kala Bhavan. This is evening. You should go now so the, uh, that you don't miss it. While Omar's relationship with Marjina was growing, so was the fray of the notorious Vladimir who had began to rebuild his gang. Once Vladimir had successfully recruited fresh soldiers for his gang, he put another plan into motion. He disguised himself as a Saudi Arabian trader. And this time he targeted Omar, visiting him in his office. Hello, I am Vladimir Omar. Uncle Omar's uncle from the Middle East. I must say this is a surprise. You were a friend of my child. You may call me uncle. You will not know me, but I was very close to Kasim. We were in the same school until I moved aboard abroad. But now that I am back, it is so sad to hear of what happened to him. We still miss him, uncle. It was all of a sudden. Why must God do do this? He was such a good innocent man. I feel like I have lot lost a family member. Omar was touched by the emotional connection that had clearly been shared between his late uncle and this man. He welcomed his newfound uncle with open arms. Oh uncle where your family too my father and aunt Soraya would love to meet you oh that's what uh, that would be wonderful i very much i did very much like to meet you kasim brother 
ही नेवर स्टॉप टॉकिंग अबाउट हिम इट इज है इट सो हैपन इट्स इट्स सो हैपन दैट इट्स माई बर्थडे द डे आफ्टर टूमोरो वाई डोंट वाई डोंट यू कम टू माई होम एट अराउंड सेवन आई विल हैव अ कार सेंट ओवर टू द होटल टू योर होटल This is going to be easier than I expected. No trouble convenience him convenient convincing him at all. Oh Kasim, I glad to see Kasim was surrounded by such a lovely people in his last year. Well, I will be of now i will see you the day after tomorrow mr then set about putting his cunning and evil plan into motion do you have it relax relax vladimir i have got what you asked for come inside and see for yourself excellent all yours man what do you want to do for though that's none of your concerns here take your money and some advice stay away from bandur bandra uh, bandra the day after tomorrow <laughs>